Hi, my brother, my sister, he is Pastor Ray Lemes from New Image in Jesus Church here in Tampa, Florida, United States. And we are living this moment, times that is confused for so many people. But I do like to share with you um, how you can get hope in this time of despair. Uh, let's talk about this. As I said, we are live in this moment, uh, trouble moment, and here in the United States, we have the pandemic. It's going high, high and high all over the states. Uh, yesterday, a friend of mine he shared about Texas that he said uh, everybody surrounding me is getting this. He's six years old. So he was worried, worried about. And we have the inauguration day next week. FBI is saying about uh, saying that um, manifestation with the people with guns preparing for the 50 states, the United States. After what happened last week in the Capitolio, with the invasion of Capitolio, and what happened the whole summer with left wing going, breaking everything. Uh, uh, um, so it's it's a moment that everybody is over tension, over stress, fear, insecurity. I am 90 year, years here in the United States and, and I never experienced something like that. And my wife that born in here, she said never our nation uh, was like this. So this is a, a moment that bring, make your, your heart be in trouble, make your heart be insecure. But I'd like to share to you a word of hope, uh, like John, like Jesus uh, uh, shared for Mary when uh, Lazarus died. In, in, in John 10, 40, Jesus said to her, if you believe you're gonna see the glory of God. Uh, look, her brother was three days dead and, and already smelling bad. And she went to meet Jesus, saying, Jesus, if you were here, this wouldn't have happened. And so she was saying, Jesus, you came late, Jesus, to, to, to heal your best friend. You, you, you heal everybody, but you didn't come to, to heal your best friend. And how many times we, 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 uh, we offer our house for your meetings, for you get meals, for you to sleep there, Jesus. This was what she was saying uh, uh, in sublime to Jesus. But Jesus said, if you believe you're going to see the glory of God, if you only stay in this place called exclusive dependence, faith, you're going to see a uh, supernatural manifestation. Our God is real. And this is my challenge for you, my brother and my sister. Uh, don't leave the place of faith. Don't leave the place where faith, exclusive dependence in Jesus is the foundation for this moment. This is a difficult moment and a lot of things is happening. And it may be you experience pain because you lost someone that, that you love. And But God is showing to you that life is it. We don't have to put our hope in this dimension, in this life. Our hope, hope have to transcend to see his manifestation, his glory after life, but we can see now as well. This glory can come with a powerful hope in your heart. This hope, when the Bible talk about hope, is not something that maybe can happen and have a hope that you're gonna have happen. But in Jesus, always a certainty that you're gonna have his presence to comfort to you, to, to empower you to strengthen you, and to bring the supernatural. To finish, I want to help you to, to, to understand how, how you can act in this hope. When something stressful is hap happening, like we are faced in, in this season, all over the world, in the United States, the first thing that you, you need to do, go to the presence of God. And in Jesus' name, and meet God in his secret place. Jesus in Matthew 6 says that you, you have to close the door of your, your room 
and meet God in his secret place. God is waiting you there. Don't allow the despair. Don't allow the, don't allow the sadness. Oh, 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 oh. Don't allow this craziness around you. Take your heart. Uh, act. Go into God's presence. Second, act. Bring this hope. When you receive this hope from God in the secret place, go out talking hope. Behave in hope, not in murmuration, not in criticism, not, uh, not losing your temper. Act in hope. Act, bring this, this certainty that God is under control. If everything happened now, it's God is showing to you that you don't have, you don't need to have your heart, this reality. These are the realities you're going to pass. But God is with you. Jesus is with you. The Holy Spirit with with you. To help you to learn that you have only to be preparing yourself here for to be in God's presence always. The glory of God is here, real presence for you here and after you go to meet uh, Him in Jesus' name. And the last thing, act, believe in the supernatural. It's possible miracles now. It's possible you see if you go to God's presence and you live sharing this hope, you can see the glory of God. God manifests signs, wonders, and miracles in your life. You can see people being healed in the supernatural way. You can see God bringing money to you the supernatural way. Uh, about three Sundays ago in the, our service, I had a vision. And the Holy Spirit is funny. I saw, I saw a, a, a bills of dollar flying to me. And I said to the, is it, to the church, you can go to our video in New Image, ANCC, and you can see the video from three Sundays ago when I share this experience. From there until now came about $13,000 for me. Money that I wasn't expecting. And God is bringing me the supernatural way. God can bring your job. So many people here in the church is receiving amazing miracles, financial miracles. People that was expected to have a car now, suddenly God moved people to, to give money for this person have a car. Uh, people that was looking for a job and everybody's losing job. And our people, we don't have any people in our ministry that uh, is jobless. It's possible, the supernatural, the miracle, the healing happened in your body. Uh, when I got COVID, I was in my tub and I heard the Holy Spirit. I, 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 am, I am overweight, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, uh, diabetic and, 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 and 55. Yeah, COVID could be a, a risk. And, and I was in my tub and the Holy Spirit said to me, no, you're, go you're not going to die with COVID. I text to my leader saying, the Holy Spirit said this one to me. In the moment I was praying, in my moment of a time, <laughs> yes. And, and nothing happened with me. Nothing happened with my, my wife. Uh, uh, it's possible. Act in hope. In, believe in the supernatural presence of God. This is the message that I want to give it to you. Let me pray for you. God, I want to pray for my brother and my sister, where they are now. They are in trouble, or in anxiety, or in anguish, in despair, in depression. It was the best, bad, bad season that you are living here and around the world. I pray now for your Holy Spirit to visit today and bring hope, bring strength that come for your hope, courage, to, to be in you rest in this season, to see the supernatural, to share this hope with others. Do this now, visit them where they are now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, my brother and my sister. Um, so follow us now in our social media that is appearing here, down here. Uh, like our video and share, thinking three people that you could share now this video, someone that need to hear this message. Share this video now, okay? If you're not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now our channel and activate the bell as well, okay? If you'd like to be uh, 
part of this dream that new image is living in this moment. We are working with students uh, in high school, HCC here, college, USF, the university. Uh, we have just launched our evangelism on the street now, in this place and on the street nearby in our area. And you'd like to learn to share Jesus and do discipleship and make disciples of your nation. Be trained how to make disciples. Just take this hope to others in discipleship. Contact us right here your comments about the video and that you would like to receive uh, uh, discipleship and learn how to grow in your faith. Write it down here, okay, and we're going to contact you. God bless you in Jesus' name.